Hi. It's late, but I had an insight that I wanted to share. So before I went to bed, I ran downstairs um, because it's a very healing uh, revelation for myself. And it's something that I wanted to share with you and remind you of. Um, I have a lot of people that write me and write things about what's going on with the world and how are we going to fix all these things going on with the world. And one thing that occurred to me is, even though there are definitely a lot of things going on that um, are dark and painful in the world that need to be acknowledged and loved and healed, what's going on on the internet doesn't represent only what's going on in the world. Like it's very easy to be on Facebook for a while or Twitter or Instagram or whatever, YouTube, and think to yourself, what is wrong with people? What is wrong with this world? And we forget that we're looking into not quite what the world is. I mean, remember, most people online are people who go online. So you're looking at people, one, who are active on social media. And often the ones that get the most likes and dislikes are the loudest opinion, right? So you might see someone who's really angry or they might be posting something that's dark or that triggers you or something like that. And then we say, what's wrong with this world? But it's this world. If you get offline for a while, you'll realize that there are a lot of amazing things happening. There are people meditating. There are people that are creating. There are teachers, librarians, people who are doing active things. There are people planting trees. There are people in yoga classes. There are people going to restaurants and having an amazing time. There are people falling in love. There are babies being born. And there are people who have been carrying their old story at an old age, gently, lovingly passing away. And we realize that all of life is perfect, including the death. And when we realize that the world isn't just in this little box, the world is everywhere. The world includes a lot of things that are going okay. And that's not burying your head in the sand and ignoring that there are some dark things. There absolutely are a lot of dark things. But often we only look at the dark things and forget about all the trees there are and the nature and the ability that we have to breathe and our ability to become healthier if we want to and our ability to hug our family or surprise a friend or read a book. I mean, there is a lot more freedom than we understand. And the ironic twist is we are convinced that we aren't free and that there's all these things outside of us to change when we're imprisoning ourselves by tricking ourselves into thinking this is the world. This is the world too. This space around us is the world. The, the thing that's beating your heart is the world. And often you can't see that at all when you're looking in the fake world in the simulated world, in the world that's actually manipulated so you'll stay on it, right? This is how this world is. Things are spun, things they know how you think, they know how you work, this is, and they go, what is the best way to advertise to you? And what's the best way to trigger you? And what's the best way to keep you in this world? And one of the biggest things that are dark in the world are how many people believe that the dark part of the world only represents the entire world. There's a lot of people that are moving in a new way. There's a lot of creativity. There's a lot of people who are doing amazing things and aren't talking about it on Facebook. There's a lot of growth happening too. And we don't know the entire story. And we're a lot safer than we understand. And, and our job is to move in a way as if that's true. And if we just keep looking in the simulation and forget looking in the truth, we're going to constantly be scared and constantly trying to fix and save our lives. And I promise you, if we would go to the truth of what we are, it would even speed up the changing of the world, the growth of the world. You would, you would impact so many other people and help people live in their hearts and see from a place of love and they'd want to do better things for the world and not fix, hurt other people or anything else. So know that in the entire spectrum of the, spectrum of the world, you can go outside and see the world isn't as bad as you think. There's people at coffee shops saying hi to each other. There's people giving people hugs. There's people loving each other. Everyone is doing their part.
So maybe the world also, along with having some darkness that needs to be loved and looked at, maybe the world also has a lot of light and the world's a lot of amazing. And our job is to connect to that too.